It's listener powered 90.3 FM KEXP streaming online all over the world at KEXP.org. My name is Morgan. Happy Saturday. Very glad to be here with you. I'm here with you each and every Saturday, noon to three, and I am very glad to be in the live room starting off the show with one of our favorite bands, Big Thief. Welcome. Take it away. Thank you. This is a song called Shoulders. live here on KEXP playing a sold out show at the Moore Theater tonight here in Seattle. Two new albums this year, Two Hands just came out a couple weeks ago and UFOF came out in May. This is a song, this is another song and it's called Not, 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 not. sorry, hi. Not a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Not. Or are you not? Not ready. <laughs> Stay. 
Thief live here on KXP. That was Knot and Shoulders from the new album, Two Hands. Uh, I have to start by saying Knot is one of my favorite songs of all time. I love that song so much. Same. <laughs> that is one I listen to on repeat. So uh, amazing to hear it live here in the KXP studios. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, you, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Welcome back. And playing a sold out show tonight at the Moor. And uh, looking forward to that as well. And two new records just came out this year. I'm sure you knew at the time that you were going to be releasing them over the course of the year. But it was a surprise to fans that a, a second one ended up coming out. So Two Hands just released on October 11th and UFOF on May 3rd. Can you talk about um, where did you record these two records and what was the idea of of separating them out and releasing them within just a few months? Well, um, we had been touring for about two years after we released Capacity. And during that time, we, there were so many songs that came, came out. And we decided to, to demo them all. And then we ended up with like 50 demos and uh, 50 songs. And we were just like, what do we do with all these? <laughs> Um, so we were maybe going to make a double record, but then decided that it would be too dense, mm -hmm. <clears throat> like too much to take in. So then we decided to make two records, and um, we wanted to make them in very contrasting locations, and for them to have like, we just started like, the song started naturally putting themselves into two different projects, mm. and one was became more of like a soundscape layered and full of like color and added textures. And then the other one just completely bare. Um, that That's two hands, the one that we made in the desert. Um, yeah, and they're just kind of, we wanted to do them back to back because they, they share DNA and all the songs are written in the same time period. Um, but wanted them also to have their own separate lives. Mm -hmm. And wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. an amazing surprise. Um, UFO was recorded here in Washington at uh, Bear Creek Studios. How is it out there for you? I, I went there a few weeks ago. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's so cozy. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. <laughs> so crisp. There's a treehouse studio there. Yep. Between three big there. old trees, old growth trees. Yeah. And then uh, I read f it was five days later after recording that one that you immediately went down to the desert in Texas and recorded the second one. I think it was seven. Sonic Ranch. So yeah, Sonic Ranch. Yeah. I think it was like seven days later. Wow. Or maybe six. But yeah, it was just like back to back kind of. Mm -hmm. what, yeah. did, were there any differences in how you recorded those two records? Yeah. Yeah. Production wise? James, yeah. you want to take um, that on? Yeah, like, well, kind of like what Adrienne was saying earlier about UFOF being more uh, dense. We sort of left, we still recorded a lot of stuff together, like the basic tracking as the band, but we sort of left room in the arrangements for stuff, kind of knowing that we wanted to fill it with messing around and that sort of thing. And it was also a lot of songs on UFOF that we weren't really playing live, so we were kind of, they were kind of more blank slates, and Two Hands was kind of the like road tested batch. <clears throat> and yeah, they recorded very differently. We recorded Two Hands without headphones and in the same room, and it's pretty much all live besides some tambos and acoustic guitars here and there. Yeah. It was also like fueled by burritos, and, <laughs> as opposed to like, you know, tater tots, yeah, salmon, right, yeah. So it, was, it really changes everything, like the things we eat and mm -hmm. the mm. air around. Yeah, my, my sister and my cousin did all the cooking for, at Bear Creek. Um, and then we went, when we were in uh, Sonic Ranch, there were these amazing like moms and grandmas like making incredible uh, Mexican food the whole time. Cool. So, yeah, like beans and eggs and tortillas and I think everything does go food is a huge part of it mm -hmm. for us because you kind of it becomes your cells or something like forgotten eyes was recorded after like a lot of spicy food we were having <laughs> some problems and then we just like went you know pierced <laughs> through it yeah and forgotten eyes came out that sounds like a really amazing experience um 
to me, the songs on UFO have sound very impressionistic and, and sort of um, living in the present moment. And Two Hands feels very urgent to me. Um, did, is that what you were thinking about when you were separating out those songs? And when you play them live, how do you sort of build the set list around those, those two <laughs> different sounds? We totally, we make a new set list every night and we basically just go based off what we feel. Um, a combination of the songs depending on, you know, we just kind of make new sequences every night. And those records are both sequences that we made and took a long time to make. But I, they, there's so many different variations. We could have sequenced them so many different ways. And making sets every night kind of feels like, it's fun, it's like an opportunity to make different combinations, almost like making a new record every night or something. If it was recorded, it would be a record because it's just, um, a, a record is just a recording of where we are at any given place and time. And yeah. we labored over those particular recordings for a while. And But yeah, I think it's nice to, to mix them all up because now I don't really think of them in terms of albums so much, mm -hmm. just just songs, yeah. yeah. You're a very prolific writer too, your output of new music is uh, just so intense. How do, you, um, how do you interact with your live shows? Do you feel like you're going to have a, a back catalog repertoire that you'll visit, revisit often, or do you feel like your, your live shows are going to be very new? It's gonna be probably always this mixture, like a lot of things running simultaneously, the thread of older songs that we've gotten to the place where we don't have to think at all and we're just they're just in our bodies and so we can just relax in a different kind of way. Mm -hmm. A lot of like that's what happens with songs that are kind of time tested and stick around from previous records that still feel emotional and present for us to be playing them. I feel like it's always nice to have those and eventually these songs from these records will some of them will become like that. I feel like there's always a chunk of those and then there's always songs from the current records which are a bit like, some of them feel comfortable but some of them um, feel we're really on our toes like still trying to figure out how to play them live. Yeah. And then there's the other sector which is like new, brand new songs that are just being written, like feeling, feeling inspired to play something that we wrote, like that I wrote like a couple days ago or something. There's always these little things that pop up and I think we just try to follow the most natural creative rhythm with it all. Yeah, cool. And you, uh, you tour a lot, and it feels like your live performances are, are very intense, a lot of energy. What do you all do um, for self-care and downtime when you're not touring? We've been cooking. With a, we got a crock pot and nice. a little skillet, and we've been cooking meals. Nice. Some squashes. That sounds good. <laughs> Cooking is very relaxing. Uh, well, Big Thief, thank you again for being here. We'd love to hear a couple more songs. 100%. Love to cool. play. We love to play. Love to play. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's play Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Can't believe this is being filmed right now. It's real, live, TV. And everybody's looking right now. Yeah. Their homes, right and they can hear it. Looking later. Oh, they're All looking later. later. <laughs> Hearing right now. But this is real. Yes. This is real, definitely real, right? Hello out there. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're feeling all right. Hope you find something beautiful to look at today, like a leaf falling or like... Your thumb. Yeah.
Big Thief Live on KEXP. They have one more song for us. This is a song called The Toy. What a So good. Big Thief live here on KEXP. Thank you all so much again for spending your afternoon with us. It was Thank so you. nice. And when the video does come out, you can all experience Max wearing a wolf costume for Halloween. 100%. Yeah. It's, it's real, actually. Halloween, yeah. It's oh, not, it's real. It's not a costume. Yeah. I am. You wolf. are the wolf. It's his real 
It's his real hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Looks great. You can go out to our gathering space and blend in with all of the other people having a, a dancing party out there wearing costumes. So yeah, I can't wait to watch this so on cute. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Some friends. Super cute. <laughs> well, have a great time at the Moor tonight. The two new albums, Two Hands and UFOF, are out now on 4AD Records. And more music on the way here on KEXP, so keep it tuned right here to Station Where the Music Matters, 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Thank you. Yay! 100%. That would be very nice. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.